It's obvious that Batman v Superman is loosely based on Frank Miller's masterpiece The Dark Knight Returns, and one of the most interesting parallels is the powered exoskeleton that Bruce Wayne dons to take on Superman in both. It should be obvious, but this video does contain some spoilers for The Dark Knight Returns. The book came out in 1986. That was the same year that Top Gun came out. You've had time. Get over it. In the book, Bruce Wayne has retired as Batman for 10 years and decides to don the cape and cowl again at the ripe old age of 55. His return, however, is met with mixed reviews, and after he seemingly kills the Joker, Superman is sent by the United States government to bring him in. It's no surprise that an old man can't take on the last son of Krypton alone, and even though Superman was weak after moving an atomic bomb, Batman still needed some extra muscle for their showdown. Batman's powered armor makes its one and only appearance in their climactic battle, and it's chock full of tricks including an acid that sprays out of his gauntlets, a sonic gun, spiky cleats, and some sort of bomb that he carries in his utility belt. Speaking of, it's common knowledge that Batman switches up the contents of his utility belt depending on the mission, and while it's unknown what exactly he brought into battle with Superman, here Here's what Bruce was packing in issue 1. Nerve gas ampules, freezing compound, cable and grappling hooks, a stethoscope, and painkillers. However, just a few pages later, he uses a military stimulant that makes people hallucinate their worst nightmares. However, all of this was not enough to take down Superman. Now, I'm sure many of you guys are wondering, why didn't Batman use his kryptonite ring? Fun fact, while that ring was originally made by Lex Luthor in 1962, it didn't make its way into Batman's hands until 1990, four years after The Dark Knight Returns was published. The most Bruce could do was create a synthetic kryptonite that he had Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow, shoot at soups. But even then, the Man of Steel survived, mainly because Bruce Wayne had a fake heart attack. But hey, now you know the history of that really cool armor from the movie. If this seemed short, it's because the suit only appeared for a short time in the last issue of The Dark Knight Returns. If you want to read it for yourself, start with issue 1, or pick up the self-contained graphic novel. So, what Batman suit do you want me to talk about in the future? The Justice Buster, or the Batman Beyond suit? Click or comment to cast your vote. If you watch this video, then you must like Batman, so click on this annotation right here, and you'll be taken to a playlist of all of my Batman videos. Enjoy!